Hey guys, John Hill from Shield Protection Products. Little tip for those of you that carry pepper spray or are considering carrying pepper spray that's simple enough to apply once you're aware of it, but I'm willing to bet that most of you have really never given it any thought to even apply it to how you carry pepper spray if you carry or if you're thinking of purchasing. So I've got two different sizes, both very common. Keychain pepper spray, very common for people to carry. And the tip or the thing that I want you to know is a lot of times people give a scenario of, you know, walking out into a parking lot, it's kind of late at night or walking somewhere where you have concern for your safety. A lot of times these keychain pepper sprays are gonna be attached to keys. And so as people pull them out, I'm right-handed, I'm naturally gonna dig into my pocket because I'm gonna put my keys in my right side from a female if I'm carrying a purse. I'm gonna dig in, grab the pepper spray because I'm accessing my keys. And I'm generally gonna do that with the hand that I'm most comfortable with. I wanna caution you or at least put this in your mind so you can maybe be mindful to switch to your non-dominant hand or at least be aware of this. What that does is because it's more natural if I do have someone that tries to attack me or I get involved in a situation where I have to use pepper spray, I've now got my dominant hand because I'm gonna use that naturally to spray. It leaves my non-dominant hand that I'm not as comfortable with to try to block and to strike if I have to because just because you spray someone doesn't mean the fight's over. Pepper spray is very effective. It's gonna be painful. Um, it's gonna start to cause their eyes to water and they're gonna have trouble breathing but people can fight through it and people do have different tolerance levels. They could be on some substance that makes them you know, impervious to things that would be very painful to us. So by having this in my right hand, if I have to strike, if I have to defend myself from getting hit, this is the hand that I'm not as comfortable with. All it takes to use this pepper spray is this, right? If I flip this up and push, it comes out. Where I'm just as comfortable doing that with my left hand, it doesn't take a lot of strength it doesn't take um it, it, it's not a complex motion that's a pretty simple thing i'm just as comfortable doing that with my left hand but now i leave my dominant hand available to block because the just because you spray doesn't mean they're not gonna still attack right and if i have to i can strike a palm strike whatever i need to do rake them in the eyes whatever you need to do you want the hand that you're most comfortable with available. So just a small tip, if you carry pepper spray like this, or even if you carry a larger size, same thing. I'm gonna carry that in my non-dominant side, non-dominant hand. I'm gonna spray, and I'm gonna keep my dominant hand available to keep defending myself so I can get out of there. Just a tip from us at Shield Protection Products. If you know someone that carries pepper spray, please pass this video on to them. If you know of someone you can think of that could use pepper spray or is thinking of purchasing pepper spray, pass this video on to them. This is important knowledge. And as always, guys, if you purchase product with us, we include a training video that goes a lot more in depth and gives you more good knowledge and tips like this with every purchase. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.